Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. We're doing a vlog style video today. Okay, I don't know how people vlog. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, today we're gonna be doing a declutter. I'm gonna be decluttering like all of my bath stuff. This is like a moving declutter because I am moving. I had a few of you be like, again? Like, wait, what? Yeah, again, um, we're, we're only in this place a year. So we're moving back to LA. I'm so excited. It's like a good thing. It's like a positive thing, trust me. So I'm preparing for that and definitely want to just have as little stuff as possible. But also my mom is coming into town and my mom benefits from the trickle down effect. So anything that I'm not using or is already opened or whatnot I pass along to her and then she disperses it <laughs> as she needs to back in Arizona so everyone kind of gets a piece of it and yeah so I think most of the stuff I'm going to be looking at is going to be open but just so you guys know anything that I'm decluttering I will try to salvage if it's not too old and pass on or if it's not like grody or like unsanitary anything that's unopened and I feel like could be of good use I try to donate and yeah I'm going to be going through the stuff that's like in my cabinets but I also have a backup store that I really want Want to make sure I go through some of the things I'm trying to keep in mind is like I don't want things to go bad how much do I already have open and how long is that going to take I really do want to be a little bit harsh not because I don't like having stuff but one it'll be less to move Two, where I'm at and and what's happening there does seem to be stuff coming in quite regularly and so it's good for me to have these kind of clean outs so I can pass things on before they go bad that's what I want to do so anyway let's get to pulling stuff out and we'll get to it all right so here is the set up same as last time I've kept it pretty clean actually I'm in my same outfit but it is a different day you know you guys were really sweet about it this outfit. Also for anyone wondering, this is from Fabletics. I obviously wear it a lot. <laughs> um, I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out. I don't know if this one will be available. Sometimes their stuff isn't, but yeah. I need to go through like all of this stuff on the counter. I need to go through all this stuff that doesn't even fit up there where it should. And then I have just drawers. So many drawers. This is all hair stuff. I have like masks. It's kind of a lot of stuff, but I feel like it should go pretty fast, so we'll see. Okay, so I didn't know how I was gonna do this, but if you can see this towel down, <laughs> down there, we're going pretty old school. I'm going to be probably just moving everything over there, dumping it out, and then going through it that way. I thought at first that I was gonna do it by section and category, but we don't need the pomp and circumstance, you know? Like, <laughs> let's just put it on a towel, have a pile, go through it, have to like keep sections and get rid of sections and be done with it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna bring it all to the towel. There's a lot of stuff. I'm a little out of breath from moving it all over here. Ugh. It's definitely a lot to go through, so we gotta get started. All right, so we have tons of stuff here to go through. Like I said, this is like for real life. I'm just filming it. So yeah, I'm gonna try to talk through some things. Some might be sped up. It just kind of depends. But right here off the top, these are all like sheet masks. And I ended up putting a lot of these sheet masks in my year-end project pan video and honestly like I just don't like sheet masks so I'm getting rid of all of them even the ones I put in the project I don't want them <laughs> like I did it I'll put a picture of me <laughs> wearing it and I literally was telling them like why do people do this why do people like wearing the skin of other people like no I'm okay so I just it's uncomfortable to me in so many ways and so these I'm actually going to be getting rid of. I have more, I'm telling you I have so many. I'm just realizing it's gonna, it already has taken me forever to go through them uh, because I haven't. This box is dusty. So the only thing I might keep a few of the eye patches just for when my eyes are a little bit puffy in the morning. So I think I'm gonna keep like three of those. I'm gonna get rid of the other ones. I might keep a couple, um, I'll keep some of the In Beauty ones. Those ones are more like, like actual gels, but I'm gonna get rid of even the Starry Eyes ones. Like, it, they're all gonna go. And I know those will be great things to like pass on. People love that type of stuff. These are little masks from Summer Fridays. I'm actually gonna keep these because they're just like little sample packets, but they're perfect for like one mask. So those I am gonna keep. So that's what we kept out of that box. Pretty good. These are like some CBD bath bombs and I definitely wanna keep those. I just got them, I haven't tried them yet. You guys know these Boom Boom creams are in my project pan, so I'm gonna use both those up and then I have the big one. One of you guys said to combine these, so I'll probably 
do that so I'm just working out of one. But yeah, I'm keeping all those and plan to use these two up. This Rodial is like currently what I'm using for face cream. I have a couple going, but this one's really great. I'm keeping both of these scrubs. This one I'm trying to use up. This one I haven't even used yet. It's not open. This is a body lotion from uh, Glossier. I didn't really love the scent on this. Yeah, it's a little like powdery kind of floral. I'm gonna give it to my mom, see if she wants it since it's already open. And I already have enough body lotions for someone who doesn't really use body lotion. So that's gonna go. This body lotion I'm gonna keep from Grown Alchemist. I, I like that one. I also have a CBD little lotion keeping that. I have tons of masks that I was all like giving a try. This one I'm gonna keep from Dermalogica because I'm trying to use that one up. So I'm gonna keep that one. But I know for a majority of these masks, I'm going to pass them on to my mom and see if she wants them. I definitely prefer masks in like tubes like this, but they're still not like my absolute favorite. So I definitely want to pass these on well. I feel like they still have a little bit of time. They're not like bad, but they are opened. I'm going to smell this one. This is from Sukin and I got this while I was in Australia, which was a while ago. Oh, but it still smells so good. It literally smells like coconut and coffee. It's so good. So I want to use that one up because I've just not found a product even similar. These are really old. I don't know if these are still good, but they haven't been open. They're from Kiko. So we'll see. I'll, I'll maybe have my mom open them while she's here, but I'm going to get rid of that. I feel like I don't get a ton of PR if I'm trying to compare myself, but you know, I still get a decent amount and I've realized it's really tough for me to like let things go. So I tend to like, oh, I'll keep it back here and then I never get to it. And then I continuously <laughs> don't open it, but don't want to get rid of it. And then it finally gets to a point where it has to go where I'm trying to be better as best as I can to really make hard decisions on like, I want to use this, I don't want to use this and like pass it on while it's still really like fresh and new. I feel like that's the best way I can be. So I'm trying really hard to do that. Anyway, from Derma E, this is the Arnica Warming Sore Muscle Rub. I wanna keep that for when my muscles are sore from walks and just different things. I have a tanning mitt here. I do not tan. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. There's a part of me that wants to keep this even though like I literally don't tan. I'm not gonna tan this winter. I mean, if I really want to, I guess I could just buy a mitt again, but I just don't even think that day is gonna come. So this is another thing that's hard for me. I'm a very what if person. I like being prepared. Sam and I are both like that and it can, <laughs> it can be tough because we could talk ourselves and do a lot of stuff. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna keep both of these. This is something in my project pan for the year. And then I'm almost done with this glow recipe P avocado ceramide serum. These are just some more products that are in my project pan. I'm gonna keep those, but those should be used up before I even move, so that's exciting. These are two hair products I actually use. This one is the IGK Beach Club. I use this like anytime I wash my hair. Um, and then the Whey Finishing Cream I enjoy in case my hair is looking a little dry from my dry shampoo. I'll use this on the ends or anywhere it's getting a little frizzy. So I, I love both those. I, I use them, so I wanna keep them. I have some eye creams here. I don't even know where this came from, so that has to be unfortunately thrown away. This one from Good Molecules. This is the Yerba Mate. I was really excited for this, um, but it's kind of sticky, so I think you can use it 360, like on the top, but then my eyelids would start sticking together. So yeah, I'm going to pass this one on. Maybe my mom will like that one. I'm definitely keeping both my way body scrubs. I freaking love these body scrubs. They are the best. This is a Mar 2 soap that I, I bought. I really tried to get in into bar soap, guys. I really did. I've done it, I've tried it, and I genuinely hate it. So yeah, <laughs> it's just not fun. I just don't like it. I really wanted it to be fun. I tried buying the cute soaps and it's just not me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pass that on to my mom. You know, when I say my mom, it could mean <laughs> others as well. This is a lush bath bar, bubble bar. Um, I think I have half left, so I want to keep that for a special occasion. Another mask I'm going to get rid of. This one, it came from Yes Style, I think. I think it might smell like honey, or maybe this one smells like honey. This one might be maybe a fig one, but I'm going to get rid of both of those. This is just a cognac sponge. I've never used it. I'm going to get rid of that. I have two things here from Pros. Let me find the other thing. This is a pre-shampoo mask, and this is a dry shampoo. I don't like the dry shampoo at all. I don't think it works very well. And then I just don't really like putting masks in my hair. It's so thin and gets oily so fast. I know this is a pre-shampoo mask, but 
it's really just not a part of my routine and I don't really want to make it. So I'm going to be getting rid of both of those. And things like the dry shampoos, I might have a couple others that I'm going to get rid of. I'm realizing like I'm just going to repurchase the dry shampoos I like and not bother with trying out different ones that aren't going to work. It just sucks, you know, like having all this extra stuff and it doesn't even work out. And so you have to go buy the one you wanted anyway or the one you know you like. And so with dry shampoos, I've kind of just been like, okay, just buy the one you know works. And that's kind of similar to deodorants. I was trying guys, I really was trying different deodorants. I mean, so many of you guys were like, it doesn't even matter if it's natural or not. And I know you're right. I just wanted like an aesthetic deodorant, you guys, <laughs> but they all don't work for me. So this is the Myro one. I don't find that it works well. It smells like nice and herbal. Like it's not a bad smell, but I can't even get the lid to like close. I don't even know how you close it where it's not gonna come off. So uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one's gonna go. And again, I'm just gonna keep buying my Dove deodorant and be done with it. But not the Dove deodorant in the spray can cause these suck. <laughs> I do not like these. I don't feel like I get a, a good enough contact essentially with my skin. So yeah, I hate those. Just regular Dove deodorant, keep it simple. Okay, I have some more body type stuff. This is from Sol de Janeiro, the Master Flash. I don't use this very often, but I do wanna keep it around for the potential time I do. It'll stop me from buying any of those shimmery, glimmery body oils that are so enticing and sell you such a fantasy for freaking summer. So I'm gonna keep that. But this one, I kept this cause so many of you guys said it smells so good and it's fine, uh, but it's like a, body oil. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one. This I haven't even used yet. This is another one of those dry shampoos. I'm going to get rid of that. I really like this R and Co aircraft mini pomade mousse thing. So I'm going to keep that one that adds quite a bit of volume. I've been back on adding a bit of that in my hair when I'm drying it. I also have this balloon dry volume spray. I have this dry texturizing spray. I'm going to keep a couple of these because I also want them for Sam. This is the hot toddy heat protecting mist from dry bar. I'm gonna keep that as well. The sunscreen is expired, unfortunately, so that has to go. This is from Sukin and it's a revitalizing facial scrub. Again, this is probably pretty old, but if it doesn't smell, oh no, it smells like crayon, so that has to go. I've been using this Rodial Pink Diamond, so I'm gonna keep that. This is from Derma E, it's a keratin thickening spray. I thought maybe I'd like it because it is volumizing, but I haven't been using it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is almost done, I can feel it, so I think I'm gonna actually try to use this one up from Eva. NYC. It's the City Grit Matte Texture Spray. I feel like you can really see the types of products I like, <laughs> like texturizing sprays. This is a foot pedicure thing. I need this, um, hence why I put, I put socks on. Film this just in case you wouldn't get a glimpse of my disgusting feet. So I need to do that. Maybe when my mom's here, we can do it together. We're making some decent progress, you guys. I'm pretty happy with it. This is like my hand cream little basket. I have quite a bit of hand creams. Like it's something I just love, so I don't mind having a lot. This is one I got um, from a BoxyCharm. It's like a serum one. I definitely want to keep that. I also got one, oh my gosh, in the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It's my favorite favorite scent from Bath and Body Works when it comes to hand stuff, so I'm so excited for that. This is a Lord Jones like foot cream. I keep it in my hand creams, but um, I'm definitely keeping that. It has like the CBD in it to help with like foot pain. I have been having really, really, really bad plantar fasciitis. Oh my gosh, it's been rough lately. So sometimes I use that, sometimes I ice it. I'm getting like new inserts for my shoes. Like it's a whole thing. I'm like, okay, I wanna walk more, but it hurts to walk. But one of the things I need to do is not be so heavy. How does, what? <laughs> the conundrum, seriously. Anyway, this is from Base Blue. It's a hand cream. They sent this out, but they sent it out with so many other things. I thought I was just gonna get the hand cream, but they sent me all this other stuff. I was like, oh, I, I wouldn't have said yes to that. I thought it was interesting, but I don't like it. Oh, it's like jelly. <sighs> it's supposed to have like the core in the middle, but you have to really, it doesn't even really work. I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of that. Use the towel. What else? Okay, these are just too old. They have to go. I almost used up the entire like Crabtree and Evelyn. They've reformulated these. They're not even called whatever these are, hand therapies anymore, I don't think. And the last one I had went bad. These aren't opened yet, but I don't know. I might have my mom, if she really wants to try them, she can, but I don't know about those. They're definitely not staying here. I have this Have a Moment Oh Hi Daydream Hand Cream in Citrus Tea. I'm gonna smell it. 
This is from Urban Outfitters, I think. It smells okay. I'm not like pining after using this, so I think I'm gonna pass that on. That's like completely good to give. This is one I'm trying to use up. Oh my gosh, this banana <laughs> freaking hand cream. It is the cutest thing from Tony Moly. It's in collaboration with the Minions. It smells so sweet though. I don't mind a, like a hand cream that smells you know, nice or different. I mean, hello, marshmallow pumpkin latte. But the banana, not, not my thing. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I have this cuticle oil and I'm actually gonna keep it, although it's sometimes hard for me to use products like this, but damn, I should. And then this Jolie can cream, I really want to use this. This is like next on my list. I'm using up a Moroccan oil one. And then this, <laughs> it's been like a long time in the making. I need to use this. So I'm going to have that ready out of the box. Like you're gonna use it, girl, you're gonna use it because I wanted to I just haven't yet so we've got the hand creams down I feel like that's a manageable amount let's dig into this hair thing there's a lot of stuff in here when I cleaned out my kit for makeup I also cleaned out like my hair kit because if you didn't know usually you have to do hair and makeup unless you're in the union <laughs> um, and so I had to have a whole thing of hair stuff so I have a lot of that here and that's where this Sebastian shaper plus hairspray came from now Sam if he wants this and if he doesn't I will probably give that to my mom she'll probably love it it's extra hold hairspray this is a dry wax from a I'm about to cut my hair short and I think waxes sometimes work well with that So I'm gonna keep that one. This is a Moroccan oil like heat protectant. I'm gonna keep that I think I just love Moroccan oil, but this one the pep rally prime and prep detangler I don't think I'm gonna get to this one I might let my mom use this one because you guys I bought the Byredo and way one This is so good. This smells like Mojave ghost from Byredo, which you guys were right You were like Lauren if you start looking at Byredo and all that, like I'm so into fragrance. <laughs> Mojave Ghost is on my list. I want Baldi Freak. like you guys. <laughs> this smells so freaking good. All my friends are like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. So yeah, we're all hooked on this. Anyway, I have this detangler. I love it so much. So I'm not gonna probably open this. And by the time I'm done with this, who knows what I'll wanna do. Maybe I wanna repurchase. Maybe something else will come into my life. And this is unopened, so let's let someone else enjoy it. These are some facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. This was given to me when it was like their 10 year birthday. And I think that was like two years ago. They gotta go, they've been open that long. And I don't think anyone should be using that. This is a mini luminous hairspray. I don't really use hairspray. This was definitely in my kit type of item. So I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna pass that on. I have a lot of these like volumizing powders. I love the Puff Me one, so I definitely wanna keep that. These two from Big Sexy Hair are just not as good as the Puff Me, so I feel like we never reach for these. It's always like, ugh, and then we'll use it for this weird in-between time before we get another Puff Me, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of both of them. They're not horrible, but you know, when you have a superior product, you know, you tend to use it. So much Moroccan oil, you guys. I know there's another one. I love Moroccan oil, but it also takes me forever Ever to go through it and my mom gets me them plus Moroccan oil was sending me stuff for a while which was freaking awesome they're both about halfway used it just takes me so long to use them up I think I'm just no I'm not I'm not gonna do it okay I'm gonna keep the light and then I'm gonna get rid of the regular one and my mom can use it or whatever. And then I have two travel sizes as well, one in the light and one in the regular. And I think I'm gonna also keep the light in this and then I'm gonna get rid of the other one. I know my mom will swoop these up and totally use these. And she actually goes through it. For me, this is gonna last me forever. Plus with the detangler sprays I use, sometimes I don't use as much of this. So I'm tempted to keep the other one, but this would last me at least probably six months. So, and probably more. That's me being very like reasonable. These are just some bobby pins. I'll keep those. Ooh, this is a new thing. It's a volume powder spray. I bought this with my mom because I, I get a discount with her at the you know store. So I'm gonna try this. It's a volume powder spray. Hopefully it's as good as the uh, Puff Me. Moroccan oil mending infusion. Probably gonna get rid of that. Olaplex number three. I mean, I know this is supposed to be a great product, but I'll probably pass it on to my mom. Okay, then I have some like clay type products. I have three of them. These I'm gonna let Sam decide. They're more for him than me. So he can decide which one he wants or what he doesn't. And yeah, he can have a say in some of the products we have. All right, I'm gonna flip this guy around so we can really see the other side. This is the Lift Me Volumizing Blow Dry Mousse. I do wanna keep this for when that pomade one is done. 
done. That one's like a small size, so I'll keep that. I'm gonna use this shower thing up from Rituals soon in my project pan. Another one of those dry shampoos. These just don't work for me. I, they don't, I am so oily, guys. Lots of shampoos, and I'll probably keep absolutely any shampoo that I have because I run through shampoo faster than conditioner, but I have these Sasha Wan, I think is how you say it, normalizing shampoo and conditioner. I'm gonna keep those for sure. This is just the R Co color shampoo, gemstone. I'm gonna keep that, it's just the shampoo. I also have this IGK 30,000 feet volume conditioner and shampoo. I wanna keep those two. This is just old, like half used bottle, but it's so hard for me to let go of products like this, but it has to go. When Sam dyed his hair bleach blonde during quarantine, like all of us did, the shimmer light shampoo is what he used, so I'm gonna keep Keep that in case we do that again. I don't know when I'm going to turn my hair a different color. So um, this is like, there's a little bit of pink left. I'm gonna keep the pink, but the purple I'm gonna give to my mom in case someone she knows wants to do like a lavender color and keep it up with this shampoo. I have these Derma E scalp relief shampoo and conditioner set. I'll probably keep those. And then same with these Nioxin, these are for Sam. So real fast, I think I'm going to just add in some more of the hair products I know I'm keeping from in this other bucket. So that way I have them all together. <laughs> All right, we're getting close, you guys. The pile has shrunk so much and definitely becoming way more manageable, which I love. This is from IGK, also in that Beach Club line, and it is uh, a volumizing texture spray. Another thing I had in my kit, but I love the smell of this, so I do wanna keep that. It's almost done, so I wanna finish it up. I won't move with that because it'll be done by then. I have this Perk Up Dry Shampoo from Amika. It feels really full and I can't remember if it's good, so I'm gonna give it one try, and if it doesn't work very well, I'm gonna get rid of that. I have this Jergens Natural glow. My mom will probably love that. I'm going to give that to her. An Elemis uh, cleanser. I'm going to give that to her. I also have this oil. I was trying it, but I'm just not an oil person. So I think she'd also love that. She loves um, like really moisturizing stuff. I love this uh, body lotion from Glow Recipe. This is something that Sam uses as well. So keeping that. This is my cleansing water in case I have any like extra eye makeup on after I wash my face. So I'm gonna keep that. This I'm trying to use up. Like I said, this I'm trying to use up. More bar soap, that's gonna have to go. This is a scrub that I haven't opened yet, but I've had it a long time and I have to get rid of it. This is from Franked Body. It's something that I like in my fantasy world, I use in real life, I don't. And it's a coffee ground, so it's just gonna be hell to literally use. Some new things I can't wait to use for the season. These are from Bath and Body Works. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. Ooh, yeah, baby. I have this Moroccan oil night body serum. I don't know if this is still good. Let me smell it. It still smells good, so I'll see if my mom wants that. It's like very silky smooth. I'm gonna find a bunch of Project Pan items and then just put them to the side because obviously I'm gonna keep those. This sun milk from Moroccan oil is too old. That has to go. This is bad. This isn't even open, but I have a feeling it's bad. How do they not put the expiration on it? when it's sunscreen. I'm gonna look up the lot number and, and see if that is expired or not. And if it's not, um, maybe I'll keep it or maybe I'll pass it on, I don't know. But this is gonna go. This is a sunscreen I wanna keep. I got it from YesStyle, but it's from Can Make, and it's pretty dang good. I have this Glossier Solution, I wanna keep that. I'm using up a few toners right now, but once I'm done with those, I could use that one. These are some products like on the verge of completion. So I'm gonna just finish them up, then they'll be gone. This is the Dove deodorant I like. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one. This secret one is so intense and it like gets on everything and it doesn't like come off my underarms easy. It's weird. <gasps> I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that. I've never had the issues and debacles with deodorant ever since I tried to switch and I'm like, okay, it's just time to go back. <laughs> tried and true fave, Batiste. I have two unopened, ready to go uh, body washes, so I'm gonna keep those. I think actually all of these ended up being free gifts, which was really awesome um, with coupons. This is just some stuff that I'm using currently like in my skincare routine. So tower spray, this is the belief eye balm. I like that. 
Um, this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is in my Project Pan, the Jerlique Spray. I have the Caudalie Spray I really like. Another thing I'm using, the Wishful. This is almost done. This will definitely be done by the time we leave. This is the Avocado Melt from Glow Recipe that I've been using. This is basically done, but I wanna do a whole video dedicated to Glow Recipe, so any packaging I have, I wanna keep. And then this is a mini of the Play Masks in the Watermelon line, so I wanna try that. So again, I can do reviews. Same with these glow recipe products i mean can you tell i like glow recipe i'm gonna get rid of this pixie serum it is like it's just crusty man uh i have a couple zit things so i'm gonna keep those i have a couple sunscreens here this one's expired this one i think i got this year so this should be good i'm gonna keep that one obviously this has to unfortunately be trash you guys know i love moroccan oil so i did buy the hair mist so obviously i'm gonna keep that that's new i have the briogeo riscaro mini um hair mist or leave-in conditioner i'm gonna finish that one up i have a mini glam glow mask i have this little mini pure lease i think i'm gonna get rid of both of those i don't need those this this is an eye cream I'm gonna be working on. I've already started it, I really do like it. I got it from YesStyle, it's from It's Skin. It's a pretty good one, so I'm gonna keep that. This is just spray water. I don't need it, <laughs> but I know it's expensive and I would use this in my kit, that's why I think I have it. So I don't know what my mom will do with it, but if she wants it, I'm gonna give it to her. Oh, another gentle peeling foot mask. Oh good, well I'll need two if me and my mom both do them. The Lone freaking Gross Cleansing Balm. This is a gross cleansing balm. I don't think it works well. It's very oily, but it doesn't really wash off well. So this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, maybe my mom will like it. I don't like it. And these are little like eye drops to make your eyes less red. So I'm gonna keep those, they're not open yet. Oh my gosh, guys, we did it. Uh, <laughs> it took a while. If you're still here, thanks, hi. I'll show you everything that's on the floor around me. So this ended up being what I'm keeping for hair stuff, not too bad. I'll have Sam go through that. And then this is hand creams. This is like the random bucket of stuff I am keeping. Well, except for this balm, but I don't want it to get oil on the carpet. This is all stuff I'm going to be passing on to my mom. Um, and that's the, the trash pile, pretty small, not bad. And then this is all unopened stuff that I just kept separate. So honestly, not as painful as I thought. I mean, it was a lot of stuff on there, but as I went through, I think I probably decluttered, I don't know, like half maybe. I think that was kind of the goal, feels good. Let's go through my backups though. I think that'll feel good and I really want to be pretty harsh about the things that I haven't opened yet because if I can pass it on I should. So when we go into my closet I have this little plastic thing this and all my stuff is in there, so. Also, I thought I would tell you, just like a fragrance break, I got this sample of the Baccarat Rouge 540. Everyone talks about it, and it's as good as they say. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I got my sample from Royalty Scents. They actually have it as like, like a scent bird, and uh, you can get it as part of the subscription. How amazing is that? Like, so amazing. So if you've wanted to try this, I feel like this is the most affordable way that you can try it out. So I'll leave a link. It's not affiliated, I don't think. I don't think they have an affiliate program or anything, but I just thought I would share the word because I was searching like, we're gonna try Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> I wanna try it. This freaking perfume costs like over $300. <laughs> and you can get like an eight mil sample of it, you know, like a month's worth of it for like, I think it's less than 25. It's like $20. That's so good. Okay. Anyway, let's do this. I've tried to be all like organized and it says like mist, toners, eye products. Like I keep it organized the best I can. Uh, but this first drawer, this has mist. I don't have much. I did go through and clean stuff out and donate a lot recently, but I'm trying to be even better. I think this I'm going to see if my mom wants. It's leaked a little bit, but it's not a big deal. So I'm going to get rid of that. This has my name on it from Derma E, so I'm going to keep that one. And then I do want to try this mini one from Dermalogica. So just two mists right now. For eye creams, I don't have a ton. This is Alginist. Um, I just got this in a fat fit fund, so I'm going to keep that. And this is Dewy Eyed. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep that one too. Something about it makes me want to keep it. We'll see if it's good. The cleansers, I probably can like figure my life out a little bit more than this. I've wanted to try the Tatcha, but I still haven't. So I'm going to pass that on. A microdermabrasion scrub. I don't even know if I really want that anymore. I'm going to get rid of that. This is the vitamin C gentle daily cleansing paste from Derma E. 
Maybe I'll keep it, but I also have this Derma E Ultra Hydrating Alkaline Cloud Cleanser, and I feel like I'm more into that. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is something I bought in a set for other products, and this just came with it, but you guys said it's pretty good, so I'm gonna give that a try. This Tula scrub, I think I'm gonna pass on. I'm not that into scrubs, really. I really want the fresh one. That's the one I kinda miss. I think I'm gonna actually start using this Oil to Milk Cleanser from Coco Kind since I didn't like that cleansing balm and see how it works. This is like the only other eye makeup remover I have, so I'll keep that from Laura Mercier. And then I have this pineapple like powder. I've had this for a while and I've never used it. It's like I want to, but never do. So I'm gonna get rid of that. In this drawer, I have all my masks and I definitely wanna keep Beyonce one. I definitely wanna keep the Pure Lease one. I don't know, everything else can go. I just need to be realistic. I don't use masks. And I feel like the ones I would use, I would probably just go buy it cause I want it that bad. Um, This is my serum and treatment drawer. This one, I have a lot of stuff in because I do like serums and treatments. Like probably one of the things I actually go through, want to use, that type of thing. I popped the drawer out so it would be easier and it is a lot easier. <laughs> I have this rhodiol one. I'm going to keep that. It's just the same as the one I already have. Overnight exfoliating treatment. Sounds good. This one I could probably pass on. This is the Radiant Citrus Facial Peel. Oh, I love this type of stuff. I want to try it because I want to see if there's something out there that's just as good or better than the Honeymoon Glow. Gentle Enzyme Peel, kind of the same thing. I want to see. Oh, Summer Fridays. Definitely want to keep that. I'm going to pass on this Discoloration Correcting Serum. I'm also going to pass on this Juicy Kitten. I just haven't used it in a while and I have like all these other ones I'm excited for. I know they do different things, but still. This Neck Fit Contour Serum, I think my mom would really want to use. So I'm going to pass that on. The Ole Henrik Truth Serum. I definitely want to try that out. Overnight Peel Blue Light Shield Concentrated Serum. I mean, how many? <laughs> I want to keep this Glow Serum. Oh, I want to keep this, this also. I think I'm going to get rid of the blue light one. I don't need that. Pass on the love. Okay. I have just tons of little samples. I'm going to get rid of everything. Let me see what the glow recipe. The glow recipe is the niacinamide ones, the dew drops. I'm going to keep that for travel, but I do have a full size coming in boxy charm, which I really like these the serum. It's good. I do want to try the good jeans also. So I'm going to keep those. I think I'm going to pass these on. I haven't opened them yet, but they're kind of old. We'll see. If they're not bad, I'll pass them on. Okay. I cut it down. I cut it down. Moisturizers are another area that I tend to have a lot of because we go through a lot of them. So... I don't know how much I'm going to get rid of here, but we'll see. Definitely keeping the backups I have of the Rodial. This goes so fast. We could probably use one of these up in less than a month. And I got them on a pretty good deal. So I'm going to keep those. I have these like vitamin C moisturizers. I think I'm going to pass these ones on. I think I, look, I even have one back here too. They send this one out a lot, I feel like. So those I can definitely pass on and someone can get some great use out of them. I've already used up the serum once before. It's pretty good. This I really like as well. The Banana Souffle Moisture Cream from Glow recipe I got a good deal on those so I also have a backup of that these are like reorders from um yes style that I got so the deep sea pure water cream really love that and then I want to try this out I think for maybe winter uh the barrier sleeping pack thing I think these are both from purito so I'm keeping both of those I have two Kate Somerville products this is the exfoliate glow moisturizer I definitely want to keep that one the goat's milk I remember this not smelling good, so I might pass that on, like just naturally, like the way it smells. I'm also going to pass this sample on, and I think I'm even going to pass these two on. So yeah, which leaves this Beauty Aid cream. I don't know why I want this. Let's see. I think I got this from Yes Style too. I kind of want to see, maybe. And then I'm going to keep this sunscreen as well for when I'm done with the can make one. So I also cut that one down pretty good. My last drawer in here is kind of like my makeup, unused makeup drawer that are things I would love to give as gifts or yeah, mostly that. Like I feel like good makeup. <laughs> I don't know. Just because I can't use it doesn't mean that someone else can't. So sometimes I save this up and then I'll send off packages to my nieces or anyone who really wants stuff. They come by my house or whatnot. So um, yeah, I'm probably not going to like go through that because I'll probably wait closer to the end of the year. But yeah, that's the last drawer. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I was thinking about it because I'm like, it just feels like so much stuff. But I'm realizing that I would say the majority, probably like 85% of the things I'm decluttering are PR. 
which in some ways makes me happy that it's not for me buying. It's like a lot of this stuff is just coming into my life from other things from like YouTube and whatnot. And like I always try to, it just kind of recalibrates me to definitely want to make sure I'm trying not to open too much stuff and being as realistic as I possibly can be with what I actually want to use, can even feasibly use so that I can pass things on. Um, but lots of unopened stuff. I do think I'm pretty good about that, but you know, I can always be better, so. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway, and my makeup declutter will be coming soon because again, I want to get through that so my mom can take that stuff with her, and I'm really excited to do that. So makeup declutter will be coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!